Hello, my name is Paul, SQ2TAC. A few days ago I started intensively testing my new radio, the ASU FTX1 Optima. This is the piece of equipment I had been waiting for with great expectations. Modern, with a touchscreen, rich function and C4AM support. However, after just a few days of use, I managed to catch a whole list of bugs and shortcomings. I divided them into three groups menu errors, permanent operational errors and incidental errors that occurred only once or twice. Curious? Let's get into it. I'll start with the little issues in the interface and the menu. These are mostly minor issues. First, the missing monitor level tab on the SSB settings page. This option is only available on the CW settings page, yet it also affects SSB, a small but real flaw that causes unnecessary confusion. Second, the absence of message, play and record tabs in the SSB settings. They are available in CW settings and they also work for SSB. This is very similar to the previous case. Third. On the CW settings page, the bottom bar with universal settings such as transmitter power disappears. Next, the user call sign setting, which affects the information transmitted in C4FM, is located in display settings. That is misleading because it looks like it only applies to the startup screen. Next, the font for the programmed channel name is too small. This is a more of minor inconvenience. Next, when the beep sound of the button is turned off, you can still hear a sort of noise when pressing any button. Now, let's move to the permanent operational errors. The touchscreen is not very precise. Sometimes you need to press multiple times to find the activation point which doesn't match the virtual button on the display. This happens even after calibration. When the same frequency is being listened to on both the main and sub receivers simultaneously, a slight latency and echo can be heard. It's not a major problem since few people listen to the same frequency on both receivers, but... <laughs> I noticed it, so I mentioned it. The memory mode for the main receiver does not work. After depressing VFO memory button, the radio returns to the programmed home frequency. Maybe this is intentional, but it looks like a bug. Wire X does not work. According to reports from other testers, the same thing happens with my unit. It was supposed to be available since August. Pressing the button in C4 FM mode results only in three short beeps and nothing happens. Next, when using C4 FM on a repeater with AMS enabled, the radio automatically switches to FM after receiving a signal from the repeater. The radio also struggles to decode C4FM even with a strong signal. Next one. When sending a DTMF tone, the microphone feeds back with the speaker. And now the third group, incidental errors. After finishing a transmission and releasing the PTT button, there is a feedback squeal in the speakers. The only solution is a restart. Next one. Sometimes the microphone stops working. No modulation despite pressing the PTT. Again, a restart is needed. Once I encountered distorted modulation in SSB. As if it didn't properly switch between LSB and the USB, even though the display showed the correct mode. Once again, restart was necessary. To soon up, the Yaesu FTX1 Optima is a very interesting piece of equipment, but in my unit I found quite a few bugs and uh, shortcomings. Some of them will probably fixed in updates. 
while others might be the result of design decisions. These are my personal observations after a few days of testing. I don't encourage you to rely on my opinion. It's worth testing the radio yourself and forming your own judgment. That's all for today. And remember, we are just having fun with a new radio. 73.